Welcome back to the channel, something a bit different today. This is Mental Playground's blog. Mental Playground is a setter with all sorts of inventive crosswords. Really do have a look at this uh, this blog, these are superb. Uh, I could have done any of them for this, but uh, I'm, the one that tempted me was this one, Capital Cryptic. Link is in the description, do have a go. So, this is a bit different to a standard crossword. We've got a uh, an introduction here that tells us exactly what to do. Twelve clues do not have literals. Instead, they have a clue or capital city. They clue a capital city or a country. Once you know the answer, the corresponding country or capital must be entered in the grid. Right. So what that means is that if the word playing the clue uh, gives leads to R O M E, then we don't write that in. We write Italy instead. So we must remember to look out for that. And apart from that. It's a uh, standard cryptic, I believe. So, as I say, link is in the description. Do have a go. Right, let's see. Gets free keys. Don't know. One who tries drugs, for instance, fierce at heart. Now, fierce at heart, it could be the heart of the word fierce in ER. One who tries. So this could be an R. Trouble returns to surround a box. Right, remembering, of course, <laughs> the introduction. Right, trouble returns. That could be a do. Um, trouble returns, so no, don't know. Right to cause loss of life. Um, right is often the letter R to cause loss of life. Nope. Sent back, had not been cooked. Raw? Ah, raw. Ah, yes, so not, not been, had not been cooked is was raw, and if we send that backwards, I think we get Warsaw, W-A-R-S-A-W, which is the capital of, of course, Poland. So there's our first thematic answer, Poland. Mad about removal of bacon rind. Mad about removal of bacon rind. Hmm. I want to I want to say this is Madrid, so we write Spain in. Mad is mad. Come back to that. Officer in prison creating small monsters. Officer in, an officer in a prison is a, a warden or a, a screw. Hmm, not sure. Queen supports pub of spirit. Now, pub, pub comes up in a crossword. It's you almost always one of three things in bar ph public house in this case i think it's in and then queen er and if something's of spirit i suppose it could be said to be inner mark to blink confounded this looks like an anagram of to blink um to give us a mark of some sort uh ink blot ink ink blot good that gives us some nice starting letters. Beginners don't rely on college. Now, doesn't yeah? <laughs> you have to get your head around the rules, don't you? Um, the beginners don't necessarily begin with K. Beginners, starters, learners. I suppose the good aspect here is there's only finitely many countries and capitals in the world, so if we get stuck, we can. Have a think about a, uh, a list. Spooner's savage boss is one who doesn't need to hear what's being said. No, don't know. A note is wrong. Could that be an anagram? Ah, this is another theme one. Yes, I, a note is wrong. You see how there's no, there's no, um, definition in the 
in the wordplay. It is just wordplay. So yeah, wrong is saying anagram A note is, and I think that gives us Estonia. Yeah, the capital is Tallinn. Beautiful city, do go there. Thank Maud for performance. I don't know what that's getting at. So this one ends in I on the radio. So it sounds like average, par, low quality game. Average, average, mean, low quality, base, poor. Ah, I don't know. What's this short one? Break heart, heart of fiance. Could this be another thematic one? Anagram of heart, and then the middle of this word. Um, uh, I don't know. Is this tough? Lions prowling inside, no problem. Perhaps this mat will help you keep your balance. No idea. Characters in Atari game. Ah, yeah, so the characters in this phrase, R-I-G-A, Riga. That gives us Latvia. Riga is the capital of Latvia, next door to Estonia. Like author's tree. As pen, as pen. Like is as, an author is a pen, sort of poetically anyway, and an aspen is a tree. Fellow hurried to church. Uh, church is almost always C H or C E. Hurried is often ran. Oh, yeah, it is ran. Ran C E, so F R A N C E, France. So we put Paris. Fantastic. What a great idea for a crossword. Bit of general knowledge as well. Okay, so how many of those have we got now? Four. Rises at the front or the back. Rises at the front or the back. Something up. No idea what that is. Uh, worker with a rapidly circulating software, perhaps. Worker with a rapidly circulating software, perhaps. No idea. The first two, the first two both jump back. The first two both jump back. No, not sure. Having a cliffhanger, maybe, social media site replaces it with an illusion almost. Now, social media site replaces it. So, I mean, Twitter is an obvious social media site with an it in it. So, having a cliffhanger, TW2, two parter let's write that in and have a look so we got twitter we're taking out it yeah twtr and instead we put opar an illusion almost is opar Par. Hmm, perhaps that's wrong. I can't see how OPAR is an illusion almost. Just bear in mind that that could be wrong then. Recognize the tales of many bacteria. And the tales of many bacteria could be YA. Recognize, I don't know. Cook raisin with oven and what you can see close by. This looks like an anagram of raisin oven, doesn't it? (sighs) 
um, raisin and oven. Shout at the screen if you can see this. What you can see close by. No, I don't know. I need some letters. Jack's other name is Art Curious. Jack. Other name is Art Curious. Curious suggests an anagram of some sort, doesn't it? Oh, Jack. I'm thinking Jakarta here. J, J for Jack, is that allowed? Probably, AKA, yeah, other name. So J for Jack, other name is AKA, which is an um, initialism for also known as. And then we've got ART. I don't know where the last A comes from. J, AKA, ART. Anyway, I think that's probably what it is, Jakarta, which is of course the capital city of Indonesia. Wild and free. Don't know. So we've got an R here. Rises at the front and the back. Rears up. Yes, that's a double definition, sort of, sort of whimsical definition. So rises at the front like a horse, rears up, and then the word, the phrase itself sounds like the back part is rising, doesn't it? Rears up. Well spotted by the setter. Lions prowling inside, no problem. Perhaps this mat will help you keep your balance. Now, is this a 3-4? I don't think that can be a country or a city. No, not seeing that one. What was this? Worker with a rapidly circulating software, perhaps. Ant is often the worker. Antivirus. It's got to be, isn't it? Let's write that in. So that's worker, ant, with a rapidly circulating. A is I, I suppose, Roman numerals. Rapidly circulating a virus. Oh, it's viral, is it? Rapidly circulating is viral. And software, perhaps. I think that's right. Yeah, rapidly circulating if something goes viral. Yeah, software, perhaps. I think that's right. Lions, this, this mat will help you keep your balance. Not seeing that at all. Right, let's go back up here. Thank Maud for performance. Thank is often tar. Maud. Could have been an anagram of thank Maud for to give us a country or a city. Oh, it is. It is that. It's a, yeah, it's an anagram of thank Maud, and I think it's Kathmandu, which very nicely is the capital of Nepal. Yeah, Kathmandu, brilliant. Spooner's savage boss is one who doesn't need to hear what's being said. Hell, that's something P. Lap. Lip, lip reader. Lip reader, that would fit nicely. Let's write that in and have a look. Lip reader, so I'm sure you're familiar with what a spoonerism is by now, but if in case you're not, it's where you swap around the first sound of the two parts of a word or phrase to get something else. Named after Reverend Spooner. Do, do you look him up on Wikipedia? It's an interesting story. Rip leader, so lip reader becomes rip leader. Savage boss. To savage is to rip, I suppose, and the boss is the leader. And a lip reader is someone who doesn't need to hear what's being said. Yeah. Okay. So, beginners don't rely on college. 
I keep wanting to put Kinshasa here, which is the capital of Uganda, but I don't think it fits. Oh, it does fit. Kin... Kinshasa. Beginners don't rely on college, and we want it to be Uganda. Beginners don't rely on college. Hmm. U-G-A-N-D-A, -A, Uganda. I don't know. Perhaps it's not Kinshasa. Let's uh, imagine it is, just to help us out. What would this give us here? On the radio, average low quality game. Low quality, poor. Just can't think of any word that fits there. What's this one? The first two both jump back. Five, five. Ah, Sudan. South Sudan. Yes. Yes, the capital of South Sudan is, this is an obscure one, but it's Juba. J-U-B-A. And if you look at the first two letters of both of these, jump back. J-U-B-A. Juba. So that is South Sudan. The world's newest country. South Sudan. Good. What was this? Break heart, heart of fiancé. Right, what capital city is four letters long and has an R there? Um, can't immediately think of one. Or it could be Iran. Ah. It is Iran. So yeah, it's an anagram of heart, and then the heart of fiancé is an N. Yes, of course it is. So, and that gives us T-E-H-R-A-N, Tehran, capital of Iran. Wow, this is brilliant. Non-slip must be the mat then. So that is lions, anagram of lions. No problem then, must be N-P. I've not come across that before, but it sounds very modern. And we've got anagram of lions inside NP. Good. So is this Kinshasa? We'll find out. Unsophisticated place possessed arcade nearby originally. Unsophisticated place possessed arcade. Wow, I don't know, there's a lot going on there. Mad about removal of bacon rind. Really want this to be Madrid. I don't know. That's an S then. One who tries drugs, for instance, or one who tries um, essayer or something. Ah, that'd be Yemen. Anyway, what was this one? Drugs, ease, for instance, say, oh, fierce at heart. Yeah, brilliant. Essayer, one who tries. So this looks like Yemen then. Mad about removal of bacon rind. The capital of Yemen is uh, Sana, S A N A A. Mad about removal of bacon rind. Sanar. Don't know. What else could that be? Trouble returns to surround a box. Um. Trouble returns. So that suggests we're putting word for trouble backwards. To surround A. What's a short word for trouble? Not a do. Ale? No. <sighs> ah. Don't know. Gets free keys. Gets free. Elopes, escapes. Oh, it is escapes. <laughs> Just have to look down at my keyboard for that one. Escape is a key on your keyboard. And it also means gets free, double definition, very nice. Right, to cause loss of life. Now it could be China, Chile.
right to cause loss of life. So what's capital of Chile? That's Santiago. Capital of China, Beijing. Right. I don't know that one. Unsophisticated place. Unsophisticated is probably our definition. Again, I don't think it can be a country or a capital with that enumeration. Unsophisticated place. Possessed arcade nearby originally. Oh, nearby originally could just be the N at the end there. Arcade. What's the synonym for arcade? Hmm. Right. Officer in prison, that could be screw, creating small monsters. Uh, officer could also be something like CO, commanding officer, inside a word. Small monsters. What's a small monster? A leprechaun, an imp, a fairy. I don't know. So that's probably an S there, then if, those, if that's monsters plural. Uh, I don't know. Recognise the tales of many bacteria. Okay, a drug concocted by Scottish man's protectors. So a drug looks like an anagram, doesn't it? A drug by Scottish man. That's usually something like Bruce or Hamish or something. Or, um, a, so if it's an anagram of a drug, guard. Oh, it is guard. It's, um, and Scottish man is Ian. Scottish name, I suppose. And it's Scottish man's with an S. So it's guardians, protectors. So this looks like Riga then. Trouble returns to surround a box. Riga is the capital of Latvia, which we had uh, down here. Are these all in pairs, I wonder? No, perhaps not. So trouble returns to surround a box. So Latvia, L-A-T-V-I-A. -A. That is, yes, that's ale, A-I-L, backwards around A-T-V, a box, A-T-V. Brilliant, Latvia. Wow, that's tough. Okay, recognise the tails of many bacteria. YA looks likely. Can't think of any cities that end in YA. Don't know. So what was this anagram? Raisin and oven. What? What you can see close by, close by, near. Oh, I like near, near vision. Near vision, N-E-A, yeah, I think that's right, near vision. That's just an anagram of raisin and oven. So that was an S there. Uniform, surrender at dusk. Uniform is U in the phonetic alphabet. Surrender at dusk. It's unusual to have a V there, isn't it? Even, oven, Avon. I don't know. Diploma has some cards in it. Diploma, certificate. Diploma. Oh, is it? I'm seeing the word O M A H A Omaha. And that's a, a card game, isn't it? Omaha. It is a city as well, but uh, not related to the theme. Yeah, I think uh, I think that's what this is getting at. That's Omaha hidden in there. Has Omaha. I think it's a. 
I don't know, but um, I, I'm fairly confident that's the answer. OMAHA is a card game anyway. I don't know. I don't know if Has is doing a double definition as part of the wordplay and part of the definition. Right. What is this? Recognise the tales of many bacteria. Uh, this could be a theme one. Many bacteria. Y A. This doesn't look like it ends in Y A. Nagoya. Um, I don't know. Offend, timeless, and popular regulator. Offend. So timeless probably suggests we're taking out a time from a word that means offend. Regulator. Populate. Popular is in. So that's an, oh, Nairobi fits. That's the capital of Kenya. Yes, that does end in YA. Recognize is Ken. Wow, that's tough. The tales of what many bacteria is YA, Kenya, and the capital is Nairobi. Good. So this has got to be in, offend. Don't know. Uniform surrender at dusk. Dusk. Oh, even ing. It's dusk, isn't it? Uniform is even. Yes, uniform is even. Even. Uniform is even. Surrender. And the whole thing means dusk. Even. Surrender. Surrender. Seed. Give. Um, surrender. Oh, I don't know. Wild and free. Wild and free. This could be a double definition. Um, wild and free. Or it could be could be a theme one. I uh, don't know. Offend. In. Offend. If you offend somebody, you in. In. Ah. In. That's got to be in. Well, it hasn't got to be, but I reckon it is. In. Offend. Insult. Timeless. Could be insult. Insul. Insulin. Oh, regulator. Oh, God. Yeah. Wow. It's uh, in insult. And then we take off the T because it's timeless. T means time in maths and physics and stuff like that. Popular in, and insulin is a regulator for um, um, I forget which. Uh, yeah, you know what insulin is. Even fall, I'll oh, surrender. Fall, even fall. That sounds like a poetic word for dusk, doesn't it? Yeah, I think that's right. Uniform is even. Fall is surrender. Like the fall of a besieged city or something. And even fall sounds like a poetic term for dusk, but I, I'm not familiar with the word. Oh, Spain, this looks like then. Wild and free. Spain, so Madrid. Yes, wild is mad. Free is rid. Spain. Oh, nearly there. What a brilliant puzzle. It's got to be Yemen, surely. I don't know how many theme ones we've had, but there should be 12. Mad about removal of bacon rind. The capital of Yemen is Sanaa. Sanaa. Removal of bacon rind. I don't know what that means. Could be the, the rind of the word bacon. Might be B and N. Um...
was just thinking there's a, a tiny island country called Nauru and the capital is Yaren, Y-A-R-E-N. But that's so obscure, surely that's not in it. Sanar. Sanar, S I think it's pretty sure it's S A N A A, Sanar. Mad. Oh, hang on. Ah, yes, I think I've got it. It's, um, I remember I did a, a puzzle on the channel some time ago that had uh, the word bananas clued as mad or crazy, and I think that's this what we've got again. So we've got bananas, B A N A N A S. Mad about bananas, removal of bacon rind, B and N, and we get an uh, A. <laughs> I think we get I think we get the letters of Sana S A N A A, which is the capital of Yemen. But well, it's, uh, it's harder to um, do it in your head if you can't write it down, isn't it? Right to cause loss of life. A claim is a right. To cause loss of life, claim. I suppose if you claim, yeah, I think that's probably right. The claim the life of somebody to cause the loss of life, possibly, and a right is a claim. Small snail. Unsophisticated. Place possessed arcade nearby originally. If it's small, the arcade could be a mall. Yeah, I like that. Let's write that in. Small. So place set. Small eaten. No. Small. Yeah, so we've got our nearby originally is the N. So we've got S. Something, something, something that means place. Small. And the whole thing means unsophisticated. Small time. Small fry. <sighs> Officer in prison creating small monsters. So we've got small again. How are we doing? Half an hour. Right, let's get this done. That really does look like Kinshasa, doesn't it? Beginners don't rely on college. Why would that be Uganda? I don't know. On the radio, average low quality game. Par. Par. What's a game that begins par? Par. Parch, average, low quality. I don't know. It must be with pass, surely. I'm going to write that in. I just, this may be a word I don't know. I'm going to write Kinshasa in. I think, don't think there's much else that's going to fit in that gap. So let me know in the comments why beginners don't rely on college clues Uganda. Uganda. Don't know. No, I'm not sure. Kinshasa is the capital of Uganda, isn't it? I think so. Par. Maybe it isn't par. Oh, it's par. What's this? Officer in prison creating small monsters. Unsophisticated, yeah, small. So we've got every aspect of this apart from the place, which is S something something something. It probably means to put or to to set to s store small small. Unsophisticated, small time, small t 
town. Small town. Oh, Stowe. Yes. Wow. Stowe. Yeah. To place something is to stow it. And then we got the mall. And then we got the N. Small town, unsophisticated. Wow. Right. Small monsters. Small monsters. I can yeah, I can see a, a type of small monster that fits in that gap. Probably my least favourite thing in the world. I don't even want to say the word out loud. <sighs> Horrible. So what's that? That's I don't even like looking at that one. <laughs> Officer would be it's an anagram of in prison. I think it's a CO and in prison anagram to make that. So that just leaves us with this. I don't know what this is. On the radio, average. We've got par, low quality. I don't know. I just don't know this one. Unless I've got something wrong. Tallinn was right. Lit reader. Yeah, that could be wrong there. I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to reveal this one to avoid this becoming a uh, half an hour of me going um, um, um. Oh, was it par? Par cheesy. I have no idea what that is. <laughs> oh, cheesy is um, low quality. So yeah, this whole thing is on the radio. So if, if you say out loud par and cheesy, you get whatever that is, some sort of game. Do let me know in the comments what that is. So but what a fantastic crossword. That was absolutely brilliant. So creative. Uh, if you'd like to see more from this fantastic setter, do let me know. Uh, link is in the description to uh, Mental Playgrounds blog and Twitter. I'm sure you'd be delighted to know what you thought. If you'd like to see more, let me know. So that's it. Thanks for watching. If you like this sort of thing, press the subscribe button that's on screen now. And I'll see you next time for some more crosswords. Bye.